Hello everyone and welcome back to another, a classic chess game by the magician from Riga, Mikhail Tal from his early chess career from 1952 in Riga. So let's see what happened. Mikhail Tal starts the game with playing c4 and his opponent is an unknown chess player named Lozov. So Tal is playing the English opening, developing the pieces, but the game is transposing into the Queen's Gambit declined and the Catalan opening. Castling, castling, b6, developing the knight. Tal is developing the knight, knight to e5, and we have queen to c8. So with this move he is defending the bishop and black can capture the pawn. c takes on d5, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes on d5, and pushing the pawn. Capturing the center, bishop goes back, queen to c2, c5. And we have d5 by Tal, rook to d8. Bishop to h3, a sneaky crafty move by Mikhail Tal, lining the bishop with the queen, so we have queen to c7. If a random move then knight takes on f7 is a, is a possibility, and then capturing the pawn, check, and this is winning the queen and the chess game. So this is why it was a crafty move, defending the queen, and again targeting the queen with the other bishop this time. Bishop to d6, unpinning, and it is white to move. Well, in this position, Mikhail Tal sacrificed the knight. A knight takes on f7, what a shot by Tal. And we have king takes on f7. If queen takes on f7, then bishop takes on e6, pinning the queen and winning the queen and the chess game. So, he did sacrifice the knight. King takes on f7 and then bishop takes, check, king goes back and Tal pushed the pawn and this is also liberating the queen and attacking the h-pawn, black didn't want to capture the pawn and give Mikhail Tal the open e-file, that looks fatal for black, so bishop goes back and Mikhail Tal captured the pawn, queen takes on h7. And after thinking hard, this is what black played, rook takes on d5, a very pathetic move. But why this move? Well, Black is hoping to relieve his position, but in this position, if a random move, then queen check, only move, and then getting checkmated. Black is getting checkmated, and there is no defense. So, queen takes on h7, rook takes on d5, Mikhail Tal is checking the king, king to d8, checking the king, blocking with the bishop, and what now? Not capturing the rook, not capturing the bishop, but getting in with the queen. Queen to f7 by Tal. Well, in this position, he is threatening checkmate. Queen to f8. Check. Mate, baby. How to defend? Well, we have knight to d7. Of course, in this position, Tal is threatening checkmate because this bishop is pinned. Queen to f8 is checkmate, so defending with the knight. But that's not defending anything, isn't it? because of queen to g8, and black resigned. You can't block with the bishop, bishop is pinned. If blocking with the knight, bang, check, mate. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. What a game by Tal. From start to finish, an epic chess game. Yeah, this was the beautiful classical chess game by Tal, from the good old times, from 1950s, from Riga. And thanks for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.